What's going on, guys? It's your girl, Easy Breezy, and we are back with another hair sponsor. Thank you so much, Beauty Forever, for sending me this really pretty brown highlighted wig. Now, y'all are gonna see me apply this wig on multiple different models with multiple different skin tones, so you will see if you're actually interested in purchasing this. So, modeling today, we have my girl Dina in the building, and we actually went to high school together, and I've done her hair a couple of times in the past, like, the past past like in my living room past <laughs> and she's here today so i'm excited all right so what we're working with today is a lace closure wig with the quote unquote fake scalp so basically that's just a stocking cap that has been sewn on you know to the wig before it was shipped out now the only thing about the fake scalp is that it comes in one color which is beige so when it comes to my other models that i may try this wig on if their complexion is brown or darker brown then i'm probably gonna have to cut it out but on my model for today i think it should be fine All right, so now that the part is nice and plucked and looking natural, I'm gonna take my scissors and cut the excess lace off. And because this is a lace closure wig, we don't have to use glue in order for it to stay, but I want it to be a little bit more secure for her, so we're gonna add a little bit of glue under the lace closure. So you already know the only glue that I use on my channel is liquid lace glue. If you want your own bottle, head to galaxygirlhair.com right now. all right that wig is on there on there like it's on there on there <laughs> so i'm going to take some tropical root setting foam and just pump it over the top comb it through and get ready to mold her down and do her baby hair Okay, looking nice and flat. So I'm just gonna comb it out because sometimes the 
tropical roots can make it a little bit hard but thank god it doesn't get flaky that's why tropical roots is one of my favorite setting foams so we're doing barrel curls today and they're not going to be super bouncy really we're just looking for a nice relaxed soft look so to bring more movement to the hair i'm going to do layers on each side All right, now for my favorite part. <laughs> I love using the flyaway tamer because it literally takes the frontal from looking just crazy to looking absolutely flat. <laughs> and also I love using my hot comb. Y'all know this is like my new favorite tool. Now, one thing that I will warn you guys, when you're using the flyaway tamer stick, remember it's a wax stick. So you can possibly make the hair look too oily so when you're using it, just put it close to the part. You know, don't take the wax stick and just run it down the hair or yeah, the hair is gonna separate and start clinging together and clumping up and it's gonna look oily. So be careful about how far down you use it. All right, curls are done. Now time to pull the hair to the front, take our wide tooth comb and sculpt it.
right you guys so this is the final look and i'm loving these highlights on her skin honey yes <laughs> so thank you once again beauty forever for sponsoring this video if you guys want this exact unit you already know i got y'all i'm gonna put all the information in the description below if you're not subscribed to my channel already make sure you go ahead and do that and turn on your notifications see y'all later